Oh, there's one. Again, I'm just going to get behind cover, plate up, and then once I re-challenge this guy, I should be able to win the gunfight. There we go. Just like that. If you're learning how to get high kills on Rebirth Island, this is a great place to start because I talk about how do I actually get a 20 bomb during a solos match, and I talk about it live. That's right, this is a live commentary, which is me just talking mid-game on everything I'm doing, the reason why I'm doing them, and how I'm actually executing them. So I hope some of the tips are useful and you could use them in your own gameplay. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you'd like to see more videos like these in the future. Thank you and peace. So off the bat, I always like to land at prison because I can either rotate to the control buy station, the decon buy, or usually the headquarters buy. Uh, this time, I'm more than likely going to rotate towards control. I like to land on top of prison because it's directly in the middle of the map, which allows me to rotate and get to other kills a lot faster than normal. Uh, that guy has some really good shots. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, game. Just get me inside. Um, so I'm just going to plate up, grab this weapon, and get right back at it. See if anyone's behind me. Nope. See if anyone's on top of roof. Oh, there's one. Again, I'm just going to get behind cover, plate up, and then once I re-challenge this guy, I should be able to win the gunfight. There we go. Just like that. And he sat in the exact same place, so, like, <laughs> if he sat in the same place, of course I'm going to get that easy kill on him. I hear people shooting directly under me. I need to grab a faster weapon, though, so I got this one. I also need some plates, so I need to play this slow. See two people on my left. Maybe I could go for this kill. Got one. See if I could get two plates on before I get this next fight. I don't have my UAV right now, so this is going to be a little tough. I see this guy coming up here, though. Did he react to me? Hmm. I'm going to see if he challenges back. Usually a player does challenge back right here. I'm just going to put on this plate, and I see these three red dots on my minimap. I'm going to rotate all the way to the wall of prison, and then I'll end up behind all of them. So like this. I'm like rotating with the wall. This guy's still camping there. I don't know why. Easy kill. But there's a guy close to my right. Close to my right. Oh, he's up. Oh. Wow. Unfortunately, there's a guy camping up there in that nice little uh, head glitch, but he got me. So I'm just trying to land where people aren't fighting, which is on this corner building right here of headquarters. We got two weapons. Got a nice easy kill on that guy. I'm going to see if I can jump across. Usually I can't make it. Yeah, I couldn't make it, but I'm inside here. I hear a guy running around. I think he's on the bottom floor, so I'm going to go check the bottom floor. Oh, let me reload this. I'm laying down right now for an awkward angle just in case he, like, heard me reload. And he started pushing up. Oh, damn. He just had such a better weapon right there. Um, I also had little limited plates. So, as you can see, I went for a drop shot for that off angle and actually almost won that gunfight. These two people are fighting. I have a pistol, but maybe I could get a third party right here. Yep, absolutely. Sometimes, like, you just have to react. If you see people getting third party, you just have to go for it. If you go for it, you get that uh, nice, easy trade, as you saw right there. Jump down, check left, check right. I can grab my loadout. All right. I see shooting out down here over at Quarry, so I can go for this third party. I'm just going to run across. Check up top first. Nothing up top. Check down low. Here, nothing. And I'm going to go even further down because I know that I'm, like, right under this guy. He's just, like, playing super slow. And whenever people are playing slow, you can just play aggressive because as long as you have a goal, and that is to get behind cover when you get shot, you can nearly break the player's camera all the time. And, like, right there, he was just playing it super slow. He was crouching. He's going to lose that gunfight every time. Every time. Got to play with confidence. I'm just going to grab this, see if I can get a UAV. Just because a UAV will make things run so much faster, so many more kills. I'm getting hit by a sniper. Why is this guy missing so many bullets? The guy who's missing so many bullets. Um, I wonder if this sniper is reach uh, challenging. So I'm going to go loot up this uh, body, and I'm going to rechallenge this sniper. Yeah, he is rechallenging. Almost got him. Oh, and then I got sniped by another sniper. 
So at the end right there, I was reloading and spamming my jump button. So this sniper didn't kill me, but somehow he aims for my chest and gets a headshot. Uh, that's just unlucky Call of Duty timing that happens a lot. Really annoying, um, kind of cringe too, but it happens. Just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna land underground and go loot up this first uh, dead guy's body that I killed. So then I can rotate towards the boat, kill the guy at boat, and then I can grab my loot and then uh, reset. So I hear multiple people around me right now, but I'm more focused on this guy right here. Boom. Pop this stimmy. Broke his camera. And I got two kills right there. Really wish I didn't get third party by SpongeBob, but it happens again. Dang, I feel like I should reset and go for my loadout, um, but I'm honestly frying these kids, so I think I'm just going to go with the confidence play and keep going for my loadout. Uh-oh. This guy won't stop shooting me. <laughs> He's trying to be a pro player. All right, I'm just going to land on top. They're getting third party. This is where, again, you can like probably go in and challenge. Use this as a head glitch. These. There they are. Oh, is this guy a sniper again? Oh, he went upstairs. He's scared. Got him. He sat in the most basic head glitch ever. Like, <laughs> like he, he's so angry at me right there for literally pre-aiming exactly where he was going to be. Like, just don't play that way. It's simple as that. Don't play predictable. And because everyone is playing predictable, it feels like this is a um, very simple, uh, like, 0.9 KD lobby. See this guy on my mini-map, just going to break through. Literally just outgun him because I see him first. Nothing special there. Good centering. Can go back and kill this guy now. He went up top. I can outgun him right here. Easy. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking at this last ping right now. I see someone is on top of uh, headquarters right here. And then I also see someone is camping inside these buildings. I think this guy's gonna land right back on his body. And just because this guy is talking trash, I'm gonna kill him a third time. Just to hear the, just, do, just to do it for the voice comm. He's inside this building right here. He's probably up in that window right now. I'm gonna climb the ladder. Hopefully he'll peek after climbing this ladder. He didn't. I'll drop into the window now. Hit him with that drop shot. Nice headshot. <laughs> I'm just like literally farming this kid. I'm about to get like 20 kills on him probably. Uh-oh. Getting shot at. I'm just going to go grab this bounty. Just because that well, one guy, I knew he was in there ever since when I first said, oh, you know, there's a guy camping in that building. But I need to try to pick up my pace and see if I can uh, go get a 20 bomb. Literally, my bounty is the guy I just killed like five times in a row. I'm about to kill him a sixth time probably right here. Um, I heard a sniper on top of prison, so instead I'm going to play careful and look all the way around. I'm rotating towards the edge. And now I'm going for the kill. And I hear someone in here. Oh, I just saw him. I'm going to go for the hop up right now. There we go. Bartholomew. Easy kill. Let's see if this guy's peeking. Oh, there's still another person in here. Okay, I'm going to go for the hop up. Oh, what the? Nicholas Rage just got fried. I thought that guy was just camping in the third story. He literally jumped out at me. Like, that was insane. All right, so I still have this guy camping in here. I'm just going to see if he's. There he is. I don't, oh, yeah, there, he's dead again. <laughs> I'm going to go grab this big game bounty uh, just so I can uh, keep the information flowing in. I still know that there's going to be one person at the end circle. One person's right here. That guy was running in circles. I don't know what his plan was. All right, so I'm just going to run with the gas right now because I know everyone's going to run towards the circle. And, yep, they're already fighting. Could probably hit a UAV right here as well. Uh oh. Target mark. Send it. This is Phoenix 3. Strike inbound. All right. 
right, there's two right there. Got my UAV pop. This guy's in my right corner. Right here. There we go. And then last guy alive for the 20 bomb is camping inside of library. Unfortunately, the gas is pushing him towards my way, so I'm going to get a nice... All right. I'm just going to rotate. <laughs> this guy uh, has a nasty shot. I'm going to pop this UAV again. UAV beginning flyover. I didn't have any aim assist on that last gunfight. No aim assist on that last gunfight, but the 20 bomb during a live commentary. I hope you guys learned something. Um, please leave any questions in the comments. I'm always happy to reply to them. Uh, anything regarding esports related or just getting better at Call of Duty, I'm happy to help. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you until next time. Peace.